Wyoming. The capital of Wyoming. This is News Channel 5. News at 5.30. The countdown is on for the 2016 general election in Wyoming. Good evening, I'm Anthony Keith. Thanks for joining us. Recapping the preliminary results of last night's Wyoming primary election. Keep in mind that these numbers aren't official until the state canvassing board approves them in the Republican race for U.S. House. The projected winner is Liz Cheney on the Democratic side. U.S. House, the projected winner is Ryan Green. Here in Cheyenne in the race for mayor, Marion Orr is projected to win with Amy Surdam also making it to the general election this fall. For Cheyenne City Council, seats in Ward 1, it's Pete Laborn, Reed Eckhart, Annette Williams, and Jeff White moving on. And for Ward 3, Mike Luna, Rocky Case, Rich McVeigh, and Gabriel Pena continue their campaigns. And moving on to the county commissioner's race with two four-year seats open, Amber Ash and Buck Holmes won the Republican primary, so they'll continue for another four-year term. Staff is also compiling names of the 523 Democratic write-ins for county commissioner to see if one or more candidates have garnered enough votes to be placed on the ballot for the general election. You can see results on our website, kgwn.tv. And here's something to think about. Moving forward to the general election, Cheyenne voters will be making history. Either Marion Orr or Amy Surdam will be the city's first female mayor. It was a relatively close race as Orr took in 3,674 votes, or 28%, while Surdam had 2,834, or 22%. One of them will be the first woman leading the city since it was founded in 1867. The people of Cheyenne really believe that we need to put our needs before our wants and that the proper role of government is public safety, public health, and a really solid infrastructure. And that is, um, that's my campaign. It's the foundation of my campaign. And it's because of uh, listening to the, the people that I've spoken to in Cheyenne that, that that's what I'm going to be continuing going forward in the future. They're like, where are we going, and what are we doing for our kids, and what are we doing for our community to grow and to, to be that front range leading community of Wyoming. And so it was, it was great. It was interesting and, and great, and I feel like we covered a lot of, or most of the topics within our four-part action plan and have some bones to work with as we move forward. Sir and Orr beat out eight other candidates to advance to the general election this fall, and too close to call. A couple of races came down to the wire, resulting...